In QGIS, there are many different ways of using existing topographical maps as background. Um, one can load a TIFF file of a topographical map I have in QGIS. Here I have a folder here where we have a series of topographical maps. So here we have a map of Battle Rope and the areas north of Copenhagen and we can then show this here in QGIS as a map and we could then add additional things on top of it. We could also load them from a VMS server. Um, Oscar University's VMS server has topographical maps um, on it and because we are using, talking about using them as a background map, VMS is a classical solution for getting this type of information because it is, <clears throat> as remember, a VMS, Web Map Services, that is a service that generates an image of a map. So one could also in QGIS have applied this uh, add a VMS layer and then connected to the university server and extracted uh, VMS layers from there. And then finally there is, in specifically for QGIS, um, this Open Layers plugin, which is very useful in many situations. Um, under here, if you installed it, you can then go and say Open Layers and you can have a Google map or an open street map, whatever you want of these things. Um, there's only one little problem here, um, and that is that this uh, Google system here and as has a um, nasty tendency to um, not really work in the print situation. So although we easily can load Google Maps uh, into our data set, we will often find that um, they are useful for, for using as background, for creating your own data on top of them, um, but they don't really work in the print situation because there is a little issue about how this open layer um, plugin works together with the print composer and you will find that there's often a offset um, if you use it. You can work around that little problem if you ensure that your map frame contains the full layout. So you have a map frame that goes from, from corner to corner of your um, layout in um, the print composer, then these open layers work. But if it does not, you'll find that when you print it or save it as a PDF that you'll get um, some form of, um, of distortion on your map. So be careful with these open layers. It's nice, it's easy to use and it's really good for creating as a background, to, for creating new information on top of it. But in the print situation, it's, um, it's a bit of a problem to use. Um, another thing with this Google is that um, it only has some specific um, coordinate system. So it did a coordinate, change the coordinate system on my QGIS. So that was why I did, did this. So you can easily get information into um, QGIS as background information, as, as TIFF, JPEGs of topographical maps from our file server, or you can use the VMS to get auto photos or topographical maps, specific periods. You can use the Open Layer plugin, um, but remember not to try and use it in the print layout or the print composer because there are some annoying issues to be aware of there. While using existing topographical maps can be fine, there might be reasons why one wants to create 
on their own maps. So um, one of the problems with topographical maps, existing topographical maps, is that they might not emphasize what's important. Um, I have this uh, map from uh, the Danish Broadcasting website um, and it's about an accident that happened here in Aarhus Harbour. Where a man was injured from a, com a collapse of some building structures. Anyway, they have to show where this location, where this happened, they have used a uh, open street map. And um, first of all, they have chosen to use quite a large area of sea. I don't quite understand why. Um, they have also as a problem of this um, using open street map it has very dominant railroad and uh, motor road around Aarhus and it also has as you can see in names of the streets uh, the main streets but not anything really around where the accident to help you pinpoint where was the accident you might have an idea most Danes know where Aarhus is, but where in Aarhus is this? I think this is an example where they probably have used a, a topographical map that they grabbed from a street map, while too free to use, but it does emphasize a lot of information that is not really relevant for this locating where the accident happened. So yeah, it's easy to use topographical maps. You can um, manipulate them to um, not be so dominant, but they have also issues in relation to that they have their own message. They are telling, have their own layout with their own emphasis on different objects.